Hello, professor and class. Hope all is well. This is my second time that I've taken a course in project-based management. And at the beginning, I was a little bit anxious because I'm, I'm an old school, more traditional learner, um, using resources, doing research, studying, taking tests, reading, PowerPoint presentations, etc. So this is a real challenge for me. What I really enjoyed about this course was having the opportunity to meet new people. My classmates were fantastic. Um, we all got along so well from the beginning. Three from Germany. I know how to speak German. There were a couple Americans. It was just such a nice mixed bag and how well we got along made everything so much easier as we progressed through the case study and the case man management. The first time I took the uh, the, uh, um, the leadership legacy assessment, I was assessed as being a, a, an ambassador. I scored a 25. So I actually thought I would be more of like the educated, um, the experienced guide because of I have so much experience and I'm a little bit older, but it did make sense when I read the assessment about what an ambassador was. In retrospect, it really did make sense because uh, I'm instinctively capable of handling conflict and friction in the workplace, which is very distinct for an ambassador. I also discovered how much of a convincing, persuasive person that I am when I'm a, in a management position. And this is also qualities of an ambassador as well. When I took, retook the assessment at the end, it actually said that I should be an advocate, which does make sense because it has to do a lot more with com communication and I learned a lot from this class and communicating with people I would have never communicated with before. So it opened my mind more so into the change management theory. I have a lot learned a lot from this course by listening and learning from my team members because we did a phenomenal, I think we did a fantastic job with getting together and getting our assignments done and communicating, which is pretty much what the course is all about. I know it's about the case study, but I think it's important for the groups to get together for the, this kind of course, I mean, the project management scenario. I'm communicating with and listening more to people and I'm becoming to learning how to become a better team member as I take what I have learned and apply it to my work and seek to navigate myself and my future team to become a better leader. True leaders don't deny themselves the weaknesses as they seek ways to overcome them. These types of leaders are great team members that develop the people skills required to show others how change is a good thing and should not be feared. Great leaders should be charismatic and innovative. They also must have credibility, honesty, and trustworthiness to those who they are directing and who those who they, they are surrounded by. They use organizational leadership, inclusion, diversi diversity, cultural appreciation, and they practice humility in the workplace. I've also discovered the relevance of the change leader the change leader needs to develop strategies to minimize the time between the creation of the di disruption point and needs to guide him or his team through the introduction of change, the acceptance of change, the modalities of change, and then become part of the organ as it becomes part of the organization, as it becomes part of its normal daily operations. And they need to, include elements of risk, uncertainty, and accept by using tolerance, flexibility, patience, and transparency. 
This course has also taught me the importance of leaders to establish a real vision and sense values for their organizations. Effective communication and motivation will be a requirement of leaders of today and the future, not just managers. These leaders will need to know to keep their heads together through the conditions of ongoing or perpetual changes that are occurring. For years, I was a food service manager and a specialty team leader, team manager. And what I learned was back in the day, they were managers. They weren't really leaders. They would sit in their office and come out and guide you and tell you what to do. They weren't leaders. I was led by example, but that's the way I was. But it was rare to find me. And I always had grown a really good confidence with my employees. And that's very important for a leader. I've become much more conscious of being a critical thinker. I'm actually more and more involved with critical thinking at work than I had been for years. And um, they actually come to me and they address me with situations. One simple one was they had a problem with the drive through and it was like getting backed up and customers were complaining. So what I, the solution I came up with was why don't after two minutes we pull the cars over and take the food out to them everything all the negativity has decreased so much it's incredible and the employees and the customer service has gotten amazing in closing i have come to embrace the practicality of project-based management and will continue to use it to hone my skills to become a better humble leader of the future I want to thank everybody in this class. It was awesome. Take care.